Page 52, ready to rock. At the top of the page they talk about chords in close position. And close position, in case you're wondering, is where you can have different chords close to each other. Your hand doesn't move much. For instance, if I have a C chord, either hand, I don't care. And I want an F chord, well, F chord's up here. But if I invert it, right, then I can get an F chord here. So the C chord to the F chord are close, because the hand doesn't have to move really, as they're real close together, and that's what they're talking about up there. I don't understand what they're saying, but that's what they're talking about. Also the octave, an interval of an eighth is an octave. From C to C, or D to D, or E to E, to blah 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 blah, okay, because there's eight notes between them, count them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The eighth note is an octave. And in music, when we count keys like this, the first key is always one. We don't start with zero. Now, in Ready to Rock, there's really nothing to this, really. You just, it's all in the left hand. And you have these close chords in the right hand. Right, as long as you can do that. It is in the key of G major. So you do have the one sharp, the F sharp. So all Fs are sharp unless they have a natural sign in front of them. Right? Right. The left hand gets to do the work, so it's got the rest type thing. Now on that left hand, those first two notes, of course, are an octave, so you have to put your hand back out to it. But once you got that, you can collapse your hand. You don't keep it there unless you need those notes more immediately, okay, and you don't. So, uh, so you collapse your hand for that, and then, then when the next measure comes around, you need the octave then you spread it out again. Let's play this ready to rock thing. It is repeated so we're going to play it twice. I put the metronome on 80. It's beating quarter notes. I think we can handle this. It's supposed to go at 120, so they say. So let's try it at 80. Nice and slow because you need to hear the notes. Okay. Right hand here, left hand here. Okay. 4-4 four, four time I'll give you four counts. One, two, Ready, go. Rest. 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 Now, in case you're wondering, where's the melody? Simple. There is no melody here. This is accompaniment. This is in background to somebody else. You're playing in a group, or you're playing with somebody, or you know, whatever. And this is the kind of thing, if you have a band or something and you're playing keyboard, this is the kind of thing you can play, where somebody else is doing the melody. As a matter of fact, we can do a duet, and I'll do the melody, and you play what you just played. However, to make it work, to make it sound decent, I'm going to need you to go down an octave. So I need you to pretend middle C goes down one octave. Play it all there. All right. Down there. If you have enough keys on the keyboard. If you can't, go down as low as you can. Now while you play this, I'm going to play the melody. Right. So you're going to have to repeat it or you'll cut me off on half of my melody. So, hands in position, you're here now, right, right, okay, and I'll give you four counts and we'll come in. One, two, ready, go.
two, three. Two, three, repeat. Two, three, four. Mm -hmm.